Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. Uh, I'm going to be breaking up the videos that I have. I started with wood burning techniques and I'm going to make this uh, in parts, okay, because I can't really get everything in at one time. So I'm going to make this part two and we will pick up from where I left off on part one and we will uh, put this together and I'm gonna give it to you like in three sections. So uh, bear with me and we'll start giving you the video for what's a continuation, okay? And I'm sorry about the interruption here. So we'll see you in a pattern, okay? Here's a, my logo that I use. I, I've drawn this owl and then I've miniaturized it and I have it on my business card. And, and this is a great horned owl and I've used this as my logo. But for the purposes of uh, showing you, this is a piece of plywood here that I have and I prepared it. And I, uh, what I did is I tape down the drawing so it doesn't move on me, okay? Uh, this is graphite paper that you could get probably at any uh, uh, hobby shop, you know, Michael's or something like that, and you can get these in sheets, and you can cut them up. And you don't want to use uh, uh, carbon paper because carbon paper comes off it's it, it'll get into the wood grain it'll it'll smear you'll get the carbon on on corners or somewhere the nice part about this is this has like a little bit of a wax finish and you get the right side down and that's that glossy side and you put it down and then what i do is i get that down i get a ballpoint pen okay Preferably, if you have a red one, a red ball pelling pen or a blue one, you, you, this way you can see what you've done. Uh, when I'm doing something that has a lot of feathers on it, I want to watch where it's just straight line work and then others where, the, where there is like a feathers or fur. Here's, a, here's another one that I was working on just to, as a demo. This is a wolf and the ears have some lines to it in here and in the eyes, the nose and the lips and stuff like that. But this outside fur, you don't want to use like a line, you know, to outline it. You, you want to, uh, you, you don't want that to show. So the smartest thing is it, whatever you're using, watch the fur, the way it's laying, and then draw the lines accordingly. You can see they vary out. And if the line work for the fur is going this way, you do this, and you want to press down pretty good on, 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 the, on the pattern here. And in the same way, here's, here's some straight lines here and here. But up here, you want to keep it broken and you do that and you got to watch and you'll see what I'm talking about because if you do all just straight line work you're not really going to burn straight line work not all over if you outline the outside of this just to get the boundaries and then go in afterwards and I'm going to show you what I mean by that I've I've gone through here and I went around the eyes and the beak and and everything else and I don't know if I captured everything but I transferred it over okay now like I said you can slide the graphite paper in and it is graphite paper so make sure you're using that not carbon paper you'll find that you'll wish it in so I'm going to take this off now and then what I usually do to help myself is I'll come back and I'll pencil some of these feathers in, okay? Uh, and and sort of look at which way is uh, everything's running. And you can add uh, additional line work, but 
initially, you could see where the markings are and they're darker. I, I, I put them in, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll come back with the pen, I mean, uh, the pencil, and mark it in, but notice how it radiates. And, and the, that line work is very important, okay? To keep that angle going and it sort of pivots around, okay? So I'm just gonna demonstrate parts of it just to give you ideas and then uh, we'll go from there. But I I tried to go back, I didn't do it all, okay? I, I gotta put all these markings in with a ball pen and then come back later and hit these a little heavier and you'll see what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna turn this sideways. So I hope you still can see this well. And I'm gonna turn on my burner. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna ask me, what setting do you use? And, and I'm gonna start with like a five and a half, but that varies on every unit unit you have so uh let me show you what i do okay maybe i'm going to turn this a little bit more this may be upside down but this is the p12s which is real slim and i like this one a lot and this is the for the straight line work so i'm going to come in and i'm going to start where i can see this radiating out and let me turn this around too. See, so like the feather work out here is radiating out even from this dark area here. Uh, usually when you uh, get pictures, you'll see where the, the feathers lay or how they lay. Uh, and I could recommend some real good books that are like sketches, but uh, and they, you can get a lot of detail from them. So I can always help you out on that too. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start in on this side just to get some striking in there. Now, if you notice, I'm not going to linger too much. I'm, I'm moving pretty fast because here's what happens. If you go real slow, and I'm going to do a demo over here, and when I burn in that first initial laying of the pen really has a lot of heat and if I move faster it's a lighter so if you go you'll you'll have to learn this as you go but as you practice you can you can linger you can linger longer you can get darker you can get lighter just by the speed of how you lay your pen down. So I'm going to, just to get the outline in here, I'm going to come in here like this and maybe I'm going a little too fast. So I'll just slow down just a little bit. And you'll figure this out after a while when you're playing with it. You'll see what gives you the best effects. Now, here's where it gets tricky. The, these feathers, lines, are going out this way, and then they start pivoting this way. And this is ideal for making it look really good, is to keep with the flow of the feathers, okay? And generally, that'll get you started. Now, here's this ring that's around the eye. I'm going to go in here. And again, that's pivoting from here all the way around. And then it goes all the way around this way. So let me come in. Now I'm trying to stay within that, get some darkness in there because I just want that to stand out and have a distance between the outside edge here and the inside edge. So I'm going to come in here like this and I'm going to pivot around. So you got to move your board. In fact, let me get this out of here. This is usually how I use for when I'm 
it's nice to have it on a table where you can swivel it really easy and it helps so I'm going to come around here like this and I don't want to go too too fast but then what happens is the I hope you guys can see this and I'm not moving out of the framework of the camera here it comes up to here like that now that's starting now i'm going to do this like brow here i call it and that's going to come from here and pivot down that's going to come right to i hope you guys can see this good right around the beak here now, there's some straight line work here. I'm going to try to go in and put these in. So I'm actually going to follow the line work here. And this is what I was trying to say to you before. And then you have this outside edge of the eye. You can pivot that around. Notice I moved the board. I don't try to go full all out on a circle. Not unless you're really in control, okay? So now we have a inside eyeball as well. So I'm gonna come in here. You're trying to keep it circular. You don't wanna get any points out of there. Now, you have some shadowing around in here. So I'm going to come in and I'm going, if you notice, there's some spacing uh, from the eye. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to move this a little faster. And this pivots around the eye too. So, and you can intensify where the darkness is. I'm going to try to show that to you here in a minute. I'm going to come up into this corner, and this is where it wants to show that you have some shadowing going on in there. So, I'm hoping this is all in, the, in with the camera. And you come in like that, but always try to break the edge up so that you're not... Uh, looking like you got a line going across, okay? And this can get darkened and this can get widened a little bit, you know, as you see fit. And then later you can, you can get your pencil and to do the whole thing, if you notice like in here, there's a lot of white, but in, in, in essence, I, lined all this through and these connect together like this but you can do one of two things see it radiates out from there so what I could do is lower the temperature a little bit which will help you out but I'm going to move faster between that burn and that burn so here we go well maybe I lowered it too much I went around a degree down I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to texture, but it's a light burn between. So, and if you wanted to darken this more, you can do the other way around. You can turn up the temperature, but you're, you're driving the line work with the way the drawing's set up, okay? And this even comes out beyond here. Um, I lowered it too much. I'm just going to move faster. So it, what I was saying is the more I move on it, I could keep a higher temperature. But uh, I, uh, I have to keep moving, okay? Or it could get really screwy. Now, uh, let me do another one up here. 
just to show you some more. And these are just, just giving a breakup of, of the rest of the brow, I call it, okay? And then uh, you also have like a, a hard edge over here. So I actually put like a straight line, but what you can do is keep it tight and burn just along that edge. This one here could be spaced out more. I'm going to turn the heat up a little higher and try to move on this. And, and if you need a darker area, after you played around with these, you can control that color. And, and that's, that's a big asset. So I'm coming down through here. Now, uh, the other thing I've done is I've put these lines in here. And uh, what we had on that bird I showed you here, uh, we're going to do this technique in some spots. 